Why did I think that was going to work, Emma? It worked. It's obviously going to kink this soft as worked. hell. It worked. Look at this shit. <laughs> it's like made of Play-Doh. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, ooh, get out of here. Nobody wants you here. Gosh, what a loser. All right, it's like 82 degrees outside today. Surprisingly less miserable in here than I thought. I am not painting today. I'm not actually really sure what I'm gonna get done today, but I think I'm gonna try to like deal with getting the rest of this inside gutted. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty much done in here gutting. Not done in here, obviously. Um, I think there's really two main things I need to do is I need to finish taking out that front liner thing. And I need to deal with this. I think this is a heater. I was thinking that was an AC, but I'm pretty sure it's a heater. There were originally two AC units mounted on the ceiling, really big and bulky, and the guy who I bought it from removed those before I bought the bus. And I've just been doing a bunch of research just now, and from what I understand, that means that the whole system was like drained. I don't know, am I misunderstanding, or is it? I, I should ask somebody. But anyway. What I'm working up to is I think that that means, but this thing's already disconnected, so it shouldn't be that much of a big deal to get rid of it, I don't think. As far as, like, from what I've been reading, it's been really discouraging because it, it, uh, I think to get a different AC, like an engine-driven AC in here, it's going to be difficult and expensive, from what I can tell, so I'm kind of bummed that mine's been taken out. Mostly, I gotta be honest, the most, the thing that I'm most bummed about is how much research I'm going to have to do to get to figure out how I'm going to replace this or what I'm going to do. Uh, so if anybody wants to just tell me what to do, please feel free to do so. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, wasp! Today I'm going to see if I can get this taken care of. Hopefully that'll be as quick as I think it will. Um, get that front thing, try to get that taken down, depending on if these wasps get out of here, because I'm not messing with them. And... Maybe everything else but the floors I can get out today? We'll see. Everything in here is painted. My license plate has so much paint all over it. Okay, so I guess I just have to disconnect these hoses right now and hope I don't think there should be anything in them, but is there any way I can tell? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually pretty nervous about this. Like, is it gonna explode? Okay, so there is something in there. I don't know what to do. I think I need to call my brother before I do anything else on this. <sighs> I'm feeling a little discouraged today. Yesterday was kind of a disaster. My brothers came home and I told them what I did and they told me what I had done wrong and what I needed to do. And they also told me in no uncertain terms that I am an idiot, which I probably deserved. Um, but yeah, hopefully, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and get some tape and stuff that should at least temporarily fix my issue. Hopefully it's as easy as it seems like it should be, probably won't be, but we'll see. And then if, once I can get that hole that I stabbed in the hose with my kitchen knife patched, then it's just a matter of like starting over and figuring out from scratch what I'm doing with that heater. So wish me luck.
Okay, got my easy fuse tape. See how this goes. Some sticker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is it nerdy of me to wear these? I've heard this stuff's real nasty. Okay, hopefully that'll hold it for now. I'm gonna go wash my hands and <laughs> this knife. Assuming that I actually did that right and it's not about to just start leaking again, that was a very, very easy fix. That's kind of a relief. So now, now I just have to, I guess, follow these hoses. See where they go? Okay. So here they are, Ow. up here, through this guy, and then do they go down? Right here? Is it these two things? How do I tell? There's two holes there, would they just make- No, that's gotta be it. So then they come up and over and over there. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing, even if I, if I figure out where they're going. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do then. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? That seems wrong. Okay, I think I figured out where it's going, but lesson learned from last time, I'm not capable of doing this by myself. So, I'm gonna make my brother come help me before I do anything. I'm gonna try to get Thomas to come over tomorrow, see if he'll help me with the hoses. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try to get all the paint off these windows and everything else that I accidentally sprayed in here. Um, the internet told me to use vegetable oil, so I'm gonna try that first. Is canola oil the same thing as vegetable oil? Hope so. Mm. It's not working. I think a scrub brush would scratch it up. Need something to scrape with. Okay, this is working. I don't think... I don't think I'm scratching it. Hopefully. I can't tell though. Okay, I finished one. Just sc oh. scraping it off with that scraper and with vegetable oil, and it, it worked pretty well. I don't think I scratched it. Hopefully, it's fine. Not sure I'm convinced this is the most high priority task right now, though. Hmm. Uh, this has been having a hard time being productive. Oh, well, I'm gonna go get a snow cone. I think Thomas is coming over any minute now to help me with my heater situation. But until then, I am just gonna sit here, work on this guy. Are you here to help me? How are you? You called me? You texted me? Yeah. Uh, no. No! I'm going home. No! Come back! Did you ask for my help because you need more um, more variety in your, uh, <laughs> in your talent? No. In your guest appearance? In I should have thought of that. 
Like on today's episode. <laughs> Instead of my brother Morgan, <laughs> my brother Thomas. What is this, inch and a quarter? This actually doesn't matter. We can just measure this. This is a freaking coupler as is. About an inch. I'd be good enough gambling with an inch. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you put the coupler inside and then put that cinchy thingy on the outside? Oh, ramp, yeah. Okay, let me get my wallet. What do we do? Just chop it? Also, what are you even supposed to cut a hose with? Probably not a Cutco knife. No. Well, I guess we just gotta freaking go for it, right? Yeah. It's been really my philosophy with all of this. Yeah. Oh, I took it off on a screwdriver. You can. It also is take off a bowl with a flathead, but it's just easier. Then I couldn't get it apart anyway, that's why I stabbed it. Yeah, that's why I brought the first I have a heat gun too, do you think that would make it come off? Yeah. I think it's just crusty as heck. Oh, I spent $23 on that heat gun, so I do like to use it whenever possible. I don't think this is going to happen. Hey, that wasn't too bad, all things considered. Okay. This is one inch. The thing we bought is too big? Yeah. You can't even squeeze it in there? Film this. Why? Because I don't know if it's worked yet. Yeah, that's okay. Nothing I've done has ever worked. God damn it. I knew this thing was too big. And... It's okay. It was only five dollars. The question is, where are we going to get the right size? I don't know. Amazon? And why doesn't this big ass bus have bigger tubes? Oh, that seemed to work. Yeah. Now here's the hard part. What's the hard part? We got to cut it back there. Quinn! Do you think I'm too old to wear this outfit? No. You look about 12. So. In this outfit or generally? Generally. <laughs> How old do you look in this outfit? Yeah, 13. Oh, this makes you look older. <laughs> and then 12? Yes. No, I don't know. Very much. Very much. Whatever the hell you want, man. <laughs> Who gives a heck? So you watch that in. Okay. And I'm going to pick this pipe up. Okay. What? Can you tell me the plan? So I'm just going to walk this over to where I want to cut it. Uh huh. Hi. So I keep pressing the. Yeah. And then, yeah. But at some point, these are connected systems. Oh, so it's going to squirt back out that end? I don't think it will. I think it's got plenty of room. But, yeah. Okay, so then, wait. So we're going to go... And go! The... Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, there you go. How much is going on in? A lot. Steady flow. Okay, keep an eye on it. Okay. Oh no, I spilled on this one. Ah, I'm getting a disaster! Oh my gosh. Do I need to clean this up? Is it gonna hurt my hands? It's all in my hands. Yeah, you can put it down. You're gonna have to drain that anyway. Oh. It's on my foot. I don't have any sandals for this. Okay. I don't know. Here I guess. Whatever. Ah! Now, do hold this and do the same thing. Okay. Okay, so you grab that end, and then when I cut it, coolant will come out. So this isn't the smartest, okay. but it's the easiest. Okay, that's how I like to do things. So we still have both. Okay, lift it up, it's not. Yeah, Did that go better than you expected? Yeah. This is what I was excited about. The kink? Yeah. Uh, it worked though for what we needed to do right now, right? Uh, yeah. Thought this might happen, but I was hoping it could withstand it. But that's. But like, that's stable for now, right? Yeah, it's not gonna leak. Just don't start the box. I won't. What? Frickin' Polly would have been able to do this. Who's Polly? Uh, it's a type of pipe. Oh! <laughs> I thought 
So does a guy like Kurt. Kurt can do this. So are we done? God, that went terribly. No, it didn't. I went a million times better than anything I've ever done. So shitty. What are you even talking about? I'm gonna about? kill myself. I wish I had, like, the kind of life where I could feel bad about something going this well. This is so bad. God, I hope no one watches this episode. <laughs> Why did I think this was gonna work? Well, Emma? they're comparing. If anyone's watching you, they're comparing you to me. Why did I think that was gonna work, Emma? It worked. It was what? obviously gonna kink this soft it as worked. hell. It worked. What is this shit? <laughs> it's like made of Play-Doh. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I hate this. I'm never working on any puzzle. No, you have to. How do you do this? This is terrible. <laughs> What's the plan? You hold that side of the bike. Uh huh. Okay, I hold it. Okay. And then you walk towards me. Okay. Well. Don't bring that up too high. Why? Now keep going. Cause it'll come out this way. Oh. Keep going. You're fine. fine. Oh, like on on the um, science court. The whole science. Science court siphoning. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you need help or something? I'm just taking out these terrible made though. Oh, it's like suctioning my hand. Yeah. That's because, yeah, the siphoning. I don't know a whole lot about siphoning. The vacuum. I know. All I know is that bowl of punch on Science Court. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't you remember Science Court? You could watch it in science in school sometimes. I remember Science Court, but I don't remember anything. It's like this episode where a lady's shoes get ruined, and then they're like, somebody ruined it on purpose, but really somebody left their straw in the punch fountain, and it siphoned. <laughs> you don't think that's interesting? <laughs> You're going back. Okay. Pick the whole thing up. Ah, what are you doing? You said pick it up. What did I, I do wrong? from the middle. Oh, I thought we were draining. <laughs> so we died? Did it? What? You should just high five me. Oh, I thought I was going to splash coolant in my face. <laughs> I don't know what Thomas is so upset about. I thought that went great. He's cranky. So, I think that was my last obstacle before I can like totally gut this thing. Content! <laughs> I feel violated. <laughs> Put this away. Why is this so freaking unfolded? I have no idea. I didn't put it there. <laughs>